The Taco Bell food you enjoy today is probably not the same grub you enjoyed in your younger years. The Bell has tried over the years to keep up with the latest fast food trends, but it doesn't always work out. Here's a look at some Taco Bell menu items that probably won't be coming back to the border. Yo quiero Taco Bell. BLT Soft Taco In 1995, when someone decided that bacon went on everything, Taco Bell gifted us the bacon, lettuce, and tomato taco. Well, you can make it exotic, you can make it friendly, you can even make it finger food. But if you're Taco Bell, you make it a taco. But from inconsistent bacon texture to ranch sauce that really felt out of place, this was a taste fail all around. Taco Bell brought back the BLT in a crunch wrap in 2014, but it didn't work out then either. Bacon Club Chalupa In 2008, Taco Bell gave bacon another whirl in the Bacon Club Chalupa. Do you smell bacon? Oh, yeah, it's a Bacon Club Chalupa. <laughs> yeah, guys love bacon. Yes, everyone loves bacon, but there's one part of this sandwich taco hybrid that just about everyone agreed brought it down, the chewy chalupa shell. Everyone hated it when it wasn't fresh. The Bacon Club Chalupa returned for a very limited time in 2015, but it went away again because ultimately bacon doesn't belong at the bell. Extreme Nachos There was a time in fast food jargon when the word extreme described the use of red chips. Behold Taco Bell's Extreme Nachos. For an extreme summer, dip like this. Don't dip like this. But Extreme Nachos were just red nachos, and they were too gimmicky to ever last especially when they were listed next to the vastly superior Nachos Bel Grande on the menu. Seafood Salad Welcome to the wonderful world of Taco Bell's seafood salad. Fresh vegetables, tender bay shrimp, and a delicious blend of whitefish and snow crab. A refreshing change from anything on a bun. But if the idea of eating seafood at Taco Bell isn't appealing to you, congratulations! You share similar taste buds to the average 1980s customer. This salad simply didn't work at all. Enchirito The Enchirito is what happens when you combine a corn-shelled burrito and an enchilada. And people loved it. What's that? Oh, that is an Enchirito. Now that's got pinto beans, cheese on the top. The Enchirito first disappeared in 1993 and then returned in 1999, before disappearing again for good in 2013. The problem was that the new Enchirito was missing the golden shell, the three olives, and its handy foil container. It just wasn't the same. Chicken Caesar Grilled Stuffed Burrito Oh, where's the Chicken Caesar salad for the party? I'm eating one right now! Taco Bell tried to take a salad and put it in a burrito, featuring chicken, romaine, Caesar sauce, and tortilla strips. You may get seized by Caesar. Guys, hello! The Caesar sauce never tasted fresh, and the lettuce was flimsy. But that didn't stop Taco Bell from testing it in a crunch wrap in 2016. It didn't make it onto the menu because no matter how great the crunch wrap is, putting a Caesar salad in it is a bad idea. The original breakfast. Taco Bell realized early on that people wanted tacos in the morning. Today they're eating waffle tacos, tomorrow they're loitering. In some areas of the country, Taco Bells were open 24 hours a day. And in the early 90s, way before the 2013 introduction of Taco Bell's breakfast, they took a stab at a full-on breakfast menu. Taco Bell has a whole breakfast menu, starting at just 39 cents. So there's a reason you probably never heard of it until now. Not every location served breakfast, and they went heavy on the bacon. Never mind the rip-off egg McMuffin. Taco Bell's 90s breakfast venture didn't even make the company history page. But the internet never forgets. Everybody loves the taste. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.